Hi, so I want to demonstrate for you how long it actually takes to find a lost combination by trying every combination. So I'm going to do a time-lapse video here with this stopwatch and uh, show you the entire process and the method I'm going to use. So you'll notice here that uh, the, the way to do this is when you have the right combination, these locks actually close. Without the right combination, the locks will not even close. So for example, the correct combination for this lock is 900. 900 and if I set it to 800 you'll you'll see if I push it in I can't lock it but with a correct combination it just goes in like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the lock like this and I'm gonna try every combination by switching from the bottom one going from 000 through 001, 002, 003 all the way to 009 and then going 010 01 one zero one two zero one three all the way up to nine nine eight nine 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 and trying every combination and um, through my testing of uh, you know two or three times it takes about twenty minutes to thirty minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the my so I have it locked right now I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to have a incorrect combination so I'm going to keep pressure on this and push it every time so you'll notice. I have it at the edge of my thumb here, and every time I turn the combination, I'm going to depress it and feel for whether it locks or unlocks, and I'm going to try every combination. So I'm going to start now by setting it to 000, and doing every combination, and uh, after 100 of these, or after the first series, I'm just going to do a time-lapse video and uh, have some commentary in the middle. So let me go ahead and start the stopwatch so that you could see how long it actually takes to go through uh, 1,000 of these uh, numbers. Uh, so let me go ahead and start the stopwatch. And you'll notice I am going to go through and try every one of these numbers like this. And now that I am past the first series, now I'm going for the zero twos. So yes, you're going to have to do this for all thousand. But the thing is, is that it doesn't take as long as you think. It does take as quick as 15 minutes to as long as half an hour. So now that I'm back to zero, I'm going to try the zero threes, and I'm just going to keep on doing this. And you might get lucky be, because your first, if your first, if if your lost combination is within the first three hundred numbers, then it really only takes five minutes. So I went past the zero. Now I'm trying zero fours, and once again, it doesn't take as long as you think. And now I'm going to try the 5. So this is a very systematic way of going through all of the combinations really quickly. And you'll notice I'm pushing like this on, on every one of my turns. So, so you see how quickly I'm actually going through it once you get the hang of it, of, of what you're actually systematically trying to do here. Now, now, if you're lucky, it's going to be the, in the first 300, which would take you five minutes. If it's, in the, if it's in the 300 range to 600 range, of course, it'll take you maybe 10 minutes. But um, if it's in the latter, it, it'll take you, you know, a total of 15 minutes. So with that lost combination, it really depends on where, where it's lost. You know, if it's in the 900s or 800s or 700s, of course, it's going to systematically take, you know, a little bit longer. So I'm, I'm just going to go faster here. So now you'll notice I am actually through the hundreds. So I already did a hundred combinations. And b because I'm doing it on a video, it took five minutes. Or the video right now is at five minutes. But in real reality, you'll see um, I did all hundred in basically two minutes. 
And if I wasn't explaining it on a video, uh, I would go actually at a very fast pace here. And you'll see now I'm just systematically going through like everything. And of course, um, at some point I'm, I'm going to go time lapse this video. So you notice I'm at 2.50 now, which is already a quarter of it at six minutes. Now essentially I'm a third of the way through at the 300s. And once again, um, it's a pretty easy method and it goes a, a little bit quicker than you actually think. It, you, you might think it takes forever to do this, but actually it doesn't. And by now, if, if your loss combination was in the 300s, you would have solved it already in less than 10 minutes. As, as my stopwatch says, 7 minutes and 30 seconds. And now I'm um, halfway done at the 500s, and you'll see it's at 11 minutes. So I'm now at 800 now, and it took about 15 minutes, and because I set my test to 900, I'm actually already there. So this gives you an idea of how, about how long it takes to try all 1,000 combinations. Now once again, you don't have to try all 1,000 because your loss combination might sit actually somewhere in the middle. I actually went over a little bit. So let me go ahead and keep on doing this. So you notice I'm now at 899 and in my next turn here you notice it depressed and and you notice that click so so let me do that again um, and you'll see I'm at 17 minutes where I tried basically 900 combinations so I'm at 899 now and you'll see it still can't lock but once I get to 900 it goes in and, and I can't click it anymore because the lock is locked and all of these locks work the same way in that respect um, now you really have to do it in a systematic way I, I could go on and I could do the you know 901, 902, 903, 904, 905 all the way to 910, 911, 912 and so on and so forth all the way to 999 but I'll, uh, I think you get the point at, at this point um, that there is no magic way of doing this. Um, you have to really do it systematically by starting out with 000, 001, 002, all the way through to basically 998, 999, uh, the 1000 combinations. But once again, uh, so some tips I, I want to mention is that um, now I still have the stopwatch going here. And uh, as you can see, it's out now at 18 minutes. So, so you could estimate about the time it really takes. Um, now, you're, you're going to get tired by positioning this in, in, in a, a specific place if you're doing it basically a thousand times. So sometimes I move my thumb here, so I'm doing it like this versus like this, because it does hurt once you do it, uh, you know, over 200, 300 times by depressing the lock like that. And, and let me sort of demonstrate by, by doing this like that. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, the other thing also is um, that this this is one reason why I only get the three combination locks and not the four combination. Because the four combinations would mean that you have to try 10,000 combinations when you lose your lock. And really, three combinations is adequate enough such that somebody, you, you really discourage someone from, you know, guessing your uh, basically combination... Uh, be, because the reality of this is it doesn't take much to actually just break the lock and get into your luggage. So the, these are really only for discouraging people from actually the attempt. But, you know, the actual security of the lock itself is really minimal. Um, so you might as well just get a 
three combination lock uh, simply because um, you know if you lose your combination you could actually find it again by using this basically brute force systematic method um, but that's really all I wanted to mention and I hope this helped and I hope you find your um, lost combination in the first you know in the first series of numbers versus in the middle or in the last series of numbers and I hope this helped and please subscribe and thank you for watching